Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So today we're looking at new Vortex Light Hunter Tactical range of rifle scopes and these are replacing the former models you may well know as the Razor Light Hunter. So they're mainly set up as your general purpose stalking and hunting scopes but what they've done now is they've added the two new models either side of me here which have got more of a hash mark type reticle in MOA and Milrad and they've got 80 MOA of internal adjustment to get you to that range. So some of the features these have got Underneath this turret here, which I will show you in a later video when we set the new zero stop feature. So I'll show you how that works. But quickly there, we have a locking turret now on this model. So you can pull it up, twist it around to where you need it, and lock it back down so there's no knocking when you're out in the field. And they've also added a capped windage turret. So you've got no issues there once again, being out in the field and knocking your zero. Parallax on this, smooth side focus there. And that goes from 20 meters out to infinity and it's marked around here as you can see 200 300 500 and then infinity so nice range there easy to set up and quite quick to set up the distance to be nice and clear for a good image the whole way through the uh, view on this one when you look through the scope it's got a very very wide eye box so there's a very thin black line around some of the other scopes you may see you've got quite a thick tube or what it looks like a thick tube looking through uh, this has got a very, very thin black line around the outside, a little bit like the old Leopolds, which just means it's a really nice bit of kit to use, and very easy on the eye. For the ocular adjustment, they've gone back to the original style, which is a twist there, and you've got a locking ring to set that up. Obviously push that right the way to the end, and it gives you the full range of movement to get that reticle clear. The reason why they've gone for this one, it saves weight. This is a lot lighter than having the quick uh, fast focus eye relief on there and obviously being a stalking scope primarily that's what they wanted to do they wanted to save the weight on these magnification once again 3 to 15 it's got a nice little lever there which makes it easy to turn just gives you that bit more leverage and a very very good feature on these now the illumination so you've got to hold that for four seconds that will turn it on you've got various brightness levels just one tap each time brings that up through when you get to your full brightness level on here, it will flash three times to tell you you're at that. To bring that back down from there, once again, just tap it, drop down through on there, and it will flash three times when you're at the bottom. Once again, to turn it off, hold it for four seconds, illumination's off. So, being a razor, they are Japanese made, Japanese build quality, glass, they really are bright scopes. For the money, they're around about the thousand pound mark, as a hunting scope for the 50mm objective model and for the crossover ones with the 42mm objectives they give a very good option for your deer stalking outfit and for also for that to cross over to keep pushing out the distance for your long range work with the 80 MOA or 23 mil rad of internal adjustment. So that sums up the Vortex Razor Light Hunter Tactical. Stay tuned and we're putting out a new video later on and that's going to show you how to set up the zero stop on these, ready for when you're at the range. Thanks for watching, guys. Any more questions, feel free to contact us.